Hey Russell, my name is Erin. I'm with Duff Digital Marketing and you had spoken with my partner and husband Rob on Facebook. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. Um, and I apologize that the last video that I sent did not work. I'm not sure what is going on, but you are not the first person that had that problem. So I really do apologize. Um, but I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video, you can tell that that is certainly something that we specialize in and that's something you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you and put them into action. The only thing I do ask, if you don't mind, would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful. But we will get started. The three things we'll be going over are going to be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is content, and I do have your Facebook page here. And Facebook is a very powerful tool. There is no doubt about it. But the first place people typically are going to go when they're looking for services is going to be Google. And when they get their search results, they usually want to have a website to click on. That way they can learn more about your business, about your services, um, and so on and so forth. So just in the interest of talking about content, I did just pull up one of the competitor sites here. And content is going to be considered anything you can see. It includes the pictures, but also the words, um, and also what your pictures are saved as can be considered content as well. And Google wants to see 1500 words on the homepage of a site. But within those 1500 words, that gives you the opportunity to be able to integrate in keywords that people are searching for when they're looking for junk removal or hauling. Um, so my first suggestion would absolutely be to get a website. It really is kind of the first step in getting ranked on Google. And it does serve as a digital business card for you as well. So that is my tip there. The next thing that we'll go over are going to be citations. And I just did a quick search and this is usually the first thing you'll see. This is called the map pack and citations have a lot to do with that. So a citation is basically your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And when I say directory, I really mean things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, and really anywhere else that will allow a business to enter in those details. So you would wanna check out where your competition is being listed within those directories, and you wanna grab those listings for your business. But then you want to double, triple, quadruple where you're found. So for instance, if your top competitor has 10 directory listings, you wanna grab those 10 and then you wanna add another 20, 30, 40. That's gonna have you completely dominating them in that space, but it does also help you to rank high on the maps here. So moving along to the next thing, which is backlinks. And backlinks have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section. And the way backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your site. And it's driving power to your site, but it's also potentially pushing traffic toward it as well. But not all backlinks are created equal. So let's say that you did some work for someone who owns an ice cream shop. And they've decided they're going to take a link from their site and push one back to yours but their link is going to be all about ice cream. So it's not gonna be very helpful for you. You would wanna get links from other junk removal companies, other hauling companies that send a link back to your site and signal to Google that that is the industry that you're in. That's gonna be a lot more powerful, but also more unique to Google because it is relevant to your industry. And this is one of the tools that I use here and I put in the site that we just looked at just so I can give you a visual representation of what I'm talking about. So it's showing currently they have 91 referring domains, which are giving them 376 backlinks, getting them found for 9.9 thousand keywords. And that's driving about 389 people to their site just per month. So let's see if we can take a look at the keywords that they are using. So we're looking for buyer intent keywords. Um, what I mean by that is really anything that someone is going to think to actually type into the search bar. Um, so here's a great one, yard debris removal Marietta. So this is a great one because it's listing the service or the industry, but then they're listing the specific location that they're trying to target. Um, dumpster rental, Owensboro, KY, another great one. List the service or industry in the specific location. And I'm certainly not going to bore you and have us go through all of these keywords, but I do hope this at least kind of gives you an idea of the types of things you would want to integrate into content if and when you do decide to get a site. Um, and truly, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. But then again, as we spoke about earlier, also always making sure that you're adding on to that. That way you are far surpassing your competitors, um, because that is the kind of thing that truly gets you on the first page of Google. 
But that is all that I have for you today, Russell. I do hope that this video was helpful. And if you would like to know more about Duff Digital Marketing and how we can help grow your business via your online presence, please contact us. We would love to talk to you. Um, and I do apologize again about the previous video, but thank you so much for your patience. And we hope that you have a fantastic rest of your weekend.